Hey guys, what's happening? So, I think I finally found a solution for the uh, remote power on, power off at uh, for mining at a data center. And uh, so I was actually, I had a couple requirements. And the most important thing was to be able to actually shut the server off remotely, on and off. And uh, for one of my mining rigs here, let me show you this real fast. It's a, right now I only have five cars in there, but it's a, a six uh, RX 580 GPU mining rig. And, one of the problems with the, um, you know, these cheapo mining motherboards is they don't really have a way to remotely turn the, the motherboard on and off. Like a server, like this over here, this is a Dell R200, it actually has a remote access card. So all my other servers at this data center actually have remote access cards. And actually, well, if, the, if the computer locks up, I can log into the remote access card and shut it on, on and off. Whereas, you know, with these cheapo mining motherboards, they don't have a way to do that. You can't log into it and, and reboot it. So I needed a way to remotely reboot the, the server in case it locks up or the you know the mining rig. So got these on Amazon, I think it's like 12 bucks or two. And the cool thing about this is it also gives you a, a power meter too. So you can you can remotely monitor the power usage. I mean it says it can do 15 amps, so I'm a little bit nervous about that. Be actually putting 15 amps through this little thing, you know. But uh, so I'm going to go through the steps. I, I put my power chip on there so you can see what I'm doing. Uh, the installation. So let's open the set real fast and see what's inside. Yeah, it's Wi-Fi enabled and that's what it does. It connects to this remote app. You know, the home, home mate app. And I, it doesn't, doesn't really say specifically how you connect it. I mean, I don't, I, I'm assuming the phone will connect to this thing and program the Wi-Fi via Bluetooth because there's no either USB plug and there's no uh, like RJ45 plug or so I'm thinking the initial setup you know you do through your phone is probably going to be via Bluetooth and it's going to send over the Wi-Fi information to this device but I, mean, I couldn't get any straight information about that online so alright so what I'm supposed to do is be able to get down the App Store Congratulations. I mean, like basically nothing on the instructions, so I should be able to. All right, let's try to get this thing connected here. All right. All right. It says hold down for six seconds until it starts blinking, and then click next. Yeah, I'm assuming this is going to be Bluetooth because I want you to be close to this device, but. Okay, put my Wi-Fi password in there. All right, so now it's connecting. All right, so no go on both devices. So I don't know, I'm gonna reboot my phone. And uh, actually my access point is right there. So right next to the rack, that white thing right there is my access point. All right. Um, yeah, it would have been nice if they would have put the MAC address on the back of this thing. That way I can actually look at my uh, my firewall and see how this thing is connecting. I'm actually running Sophos uh, XG. And I actually have the Sophos branded firewall, so they're controlled by the firewall. Let's try this again. This is right underneath the firewall now. I mean the access point. Alright, that time it worked, so that's cool. Um, Alright, I'm gonna go take it back to my test bench. Hopefully, we can get it going. Alright, so I hooked up my uh, light bulb or my LED to it, so you can actually manually turn this on and off right there with the button. Let's try this thing right here and see if this thing actually works. Ah, look at that! Look at that! That's pretty cool. And that's actually what I need. Hopefully this thing can, can actually do 15 amps. We'll see. Yeah. There it goes. Okay. Now let's see if I can... Uh, now I'm actually kind of blinded here. Let me see if I can figure out where to get the uh, the power usage. I forgot to mention, but it does sound like there's a relay in there. You know, sometimes you can't hear because this thing is actually making a click too, but... Alright, so that's the end of this review. Uh, I have it plugged in right there. This will eventually be in the data center, like I said. And 
So right now I'm currently running six GPUs and it's pulling about 970 watts. The cool thing about this though is if I ever have to reboot this thing if it locks up, I just have to hit this power button. So, alright, pretty cool. 12 bucks, I think 12 or 13 bucks.